song that was sung for so long in my head that I read something said by Seneca the Young. When he said, luck is what happens when opportunity meets preparation. Well, look around, opportunities are found, so I'm preparing the ground. I'm building a basis for love just to happen upon. And when I build it, she will come. Love! Love if you want to be loved, said Seneca the Younger. So I'm flooding my senses with amazement and wonder. I'm constantly on the lookout for things to appreciate and bask in. I mean, come on, what is there not to love? I'm asking. <laughs> My eyes on the outcome, and when I build it, she will come. Now, built from all this stuff that has me inspired, I launched from a loneliness that had me mired. I'm now riding rockets of my desire to where all cooperative components conspire to build one of those golden moments when the frequency is higher. And the sizzling reply from the rocket of desire that I launch is going to come in the form of some bodily warmth. I mean, loneliness tried to lay me down when it's taunts it got me before, but this time it won't. You see, my heart on my sleeve, I'm not always your wisest. And some of you have come pretending to be her. Yeah, you've got your disguises. Still, I try to get along anyway, which, but sooner or later, if your girl don't love you, she's going to switch. She's going to unleash the bitch. And you're left without a stitch of dignity, screaming yourself like a bitch. How could you do this to me? You see, you see, I was going about it all wrong. And yeah, I admit I've done some shit that I shouldn't have done, but you know what? Fuck it, they were just practice runs. <laughs> I'm building a ladder to love, using lessons learnt from my wrongs as wrongs. And when I build it, she will come. No more will I be a sad one, because I had a bad one. That's why I had none in a long, long, long time. But no more will I know no wine, because she'll be alone in no time. Poppy swing on the vine. Like chain, me, I'm Tarzan, and I am the platform I'm building for her to climb on. So when I build it, she will come. I'm talking underpinning, groundwork, foundation, just in case she's got a desire for a thick bloke in her vibration. That's why I'm building at my core, where I'm more stable, more strong, so any which way she can get her freak on. <laughs> so much karma that love will come but bring in the drama. Well that's okay because my happiness does not depend on what another says or does. I mean, ain't we each got happiness inside of us? Yeah. I know you heard this before, maybe this time it will get through. What you see in others is always a reflection of you. It's just love exposing some of the shit you've got to work through. So the next time drama comes and spanks you, turn right around and say thank you. <laughs> That's how you build your pyramids to self-actualization. And when I build it, she will come. See, others, they couldn't take the pressure they had to ride out. You see, their biggest fear was that through love they could get wiped out. Not me, I'm going all out, because when I build it, she will come and love is going to be the fallout. You're going to be like, whoa, bombo rass, because you're going to get <laughs> You're gonna hear a sound like a bomb blast, but it's cool. It's she, she come at long last. That's why I'm building a concrete wall to shelter behind you in the initial outfall. When I build it, she will come and you're better take cover you all. Now, I don't know if I'm making this perfectly clear. See, I'm changing my karmic boomerang for a Dharma sphere. And so I'm easier to spot in the atmosphere. You like that lie, Joe, eh? <laughs> Oh, my God.